Hi, I'm James Brundage with Start Automating, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about building functions that support the pipeline. We've been talking through get protocol, and get protocol gives me the well-known ports and protocols over a given range if I pipe in a list of numbers like this. So 1.100 dot dot will give me the range, and when I pipe it in, here's my protocol list. Now this is a very handy sort of trickery to be able to master in PowerShell, and there are two parts to it. We've already discussed one in decent detail, and that's commandlet binding and parameter binding. And the other part is understanding the blocks. There are three blocks in PowerShell code. One of them is the begin block, and the other one is the process block, and the final one, which we actually don't use in this function, is the end block. If you don't put a begin or a process block in, you'll have an end block. And this is where a lot of functions that add the pipelining attributes but don't do anything more go wrong. Because they don't have a process block, they're only going to get the last item in the pipeline to work with. And this is a little bit frustrating to understand when you're trying to write your pipelining functions for the first time. The begin block is used for initialization. So in get protocol, I've got a file that I know exists on the system. and I want to actually parse that file in the begin block rather than parse it in process. And by doing this, I'll be able to save a lot of time. You see begin only once, runs once and end only runs once where process runs each time. So if you can cache data and begin or make requests faster in any way, shape, or form, that's where you want to do things. There's a lot of individual tricks in this begin block, so we're not going to walk through this in this video. But these idea of understanding begin process and end blocks and understanding commandlet and parameter binding is the key to understanding how to build a function that supports the pipeline. I hope this helps. Thanks.